Hey, uh, everybody, I'm uh, Aaron Levy, CEO of Box, and I'm controlling my own intro music, which is, uh, which is always very dangerous. Um, uh, I just wanted to, uh, to say hello and, and thank you for, uh, for attending our uh, virtual forum today. Um, uh, as, uh, as Steph intro, uh, we have Steph Carrillo, our Chief Operating Officer at Box, and we have a broad team of, of boxers also on the line um, to, uh, to, to make sure that uh, we're, we're supporting uh, all of our higher education customers right now. Um, and I really want to uh, just again uh, take a moment to say thank you for uh, attending today's session. Um, we know that everybody is incredibly busy and has many priorities going on. Um, uh, right now, and it's, uh, it's uh, great to be able to spend some time with our higher education community uh, and be able to share some of the updates that we're working on as a business. Before I, I get started, I do want to take a moment to address um, a very important topic for our country, which is, um, which is really what, what we've seen uh, in America in the past couple of weeks. Um, and uh, I want to make sure that everybody is uh, clear that Vox uh, stands with the black community right now. Uh, we know that as a country, we have um, many, many um, uh, areas of, of systemic uh, uh, issues and, and injustice in our country, and we have to do uh, our part as an organization and as a community to make sure that we we stand up for uh, 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 and stand up and against these uh, these types of issues. So at Box, um, there's a few areas that we're really focused on. The first is we announced that we'll be giving um, uh, committed funds uh, to nonprofit organizations that are working. Uh, to improve progress on uh, on racial justice and criminal justice reform in our country, um, and uh, we as an organization are going to do more to um, really make sure that we, we are focused on this issue. Uh, we, we've long uh, had a commitment to diversity and inclusion at Box, and this remains uh, a big priority for our organization going forward. But we know that this is a very important topic, and it's on the minds of many of our customers and many uh, in the in the community as it as it should be, because this is an incredibly important moment for our country to. Um, to hopefully really say enough is enough and start to make uh, important progress on uh, on this incredibly important issue. So um, just want to make sure that uh, everyone uh, you know heard from us of, of how important of an issue this is and, and topic it is for, for our organization um, and I think the broader technology industry as well um, that uh, we're, we're excited to see real um, movement and, um, and, and, uh, and, and hopefully um, kind of greater progress in this area. Um, we, we, uh, we decided to have this forum today to um, really have a, a conversation around what we see as the future of Box's role in higher education. Uh, we know that so many of you are, are doing amazing work, um, uh, and especially over the past uh, three or four months where this has been maybe one of the most dynamic and challenging times um, in uh, the education space, uh, given what's happened with, uh, with COVID and a lot of the other disruptions um, you know, within the education environment. And we've been incredibly inspired with all of the amazing execution that we've seen from our uh, university um, and higher education community uh, customers, and um, and we wanted to take a moment to first thank everybody uh, for uh, for the amazing work that you're doing and uh, and making sure that that students stay educated, that research continues, um, and that operations are able to remain re resilient. And we can only imagine the the, the firefighting and the, the complexity of uh, of doing that in this environment. So we want to first say say thank you to to um, to the broader higher education community for that. Um, and we wanted to have this forum to really share a couple key updates. The first is, um, is some updates around uh, our, um, uh, our edu higher education plans uh, to better support the higher education community. Um, and then also share some product updates, some of which we've had lots of feedback from the higher education community on over the past couple of years and some other uh, areas of innovation that we think that um, the community is going to be very excited about hearing um, as well. So, so with that, I'm going to just jump right in, and um, and, uh, and and we're going to do the uh, the, the standard um, you know couple minutes of fumbling with a Zoom presentation. So I'll do my best to, to make this as smooth as possible, and uh, my team will let me know if uh, I'm screwing this up royally. All right, are we are we doing okay, Steph? Maybe I can do a head nod. I can see. Yeah, you. that's okay. perfect. Okay. All right. So. Um, so again, thank you, uh, thank you so much for 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 coming out here today and um, and and tuning into to this conversation. Um, and just as a reminder, we uh, we did get a number of questions in advance of uh, of this forum, and I'll be answering some of those questions at the end. Uh, we were able to aggregate some great questions about Box's role in higher education and uh, and our focus and commitment to the space. So um, so Steph will be leading a little bit of a Q and A at the at the tail end based on the questions that we got from the the community. So um, for, first thing, just to, to kick things off, um, uh, we have been committed to the higher education space um, really since the founding of the company, um, and certainly more specifically and in a more concerted fashion 
um, over the past eight to 10 years or so when we really built the Box for EDU program. Um, it's, uh, it's not maybe always a, a known fact, but Box actually got its start uh, within um, uh, the university space. So, um, so the, the whole founding team, we were sophomores and, and freshmen in, um, uh, in college when we decided to start Box. And uh, we started it 15 years ago because uh, it was just way too difficult to share and access files uh, from anywhere. And this was a time in my sophomore year of college when we were jumping between the, the dorm room the library computer, I had an internship um, off campus, and it was just way too hard to share files. It was way too difficult. You had to have USB thumb drives. Um, you had to set up your own FTP site. You had external storage. Um, and so we, we saw this firsthand in a college environment, in a campus environment, um, that there had to be a better way to be able to share and collaborate on, on, uh, on data. And if you, if you kind of take yourself back 15 years, which is maybe a scary thing to do for, uh, uh, for some, but the world was very different. So these are maybe three big, big ideas to hold in your head. The first was BlackBerry was the definition of, of a smartphone and, and of, of uh, mobile computing at the time. And um, it was obviously a breakthrough technology and we all had a BlackBerry and it was, um, it was, it was a, a pretty amazing tool, but obviously very limited in what, what it could do from an application standpoint. So this was the state of mobile. Um, Internet Explorer was the leading, uh, and in fact, you know, for all intents and purposes, the only browser uh, on the market. And I think you'll remember um, you know, just how, how slow and cumbersome it was to use the internet back then. So Firefox had only just, just started to get created. Um, and, uh, and most people were not on broadband internet. They weren't on cable. They were using dial up in, in a lot of cases. And so the internet was slow. The browsers were slow. Mobile wasn't really ready. And that was, that was the environment that we, we started the company in. And since then, everything has changed. I think we, we've seen this in every single industry uh, and nowhere has this been maybe most profound than in a higher education community. Um, where we've seen a massive shift to the cloud, massive shift to mobile, um, and all new ways of working and, and collaborating. And so today, um, we're extremely proud to be able to work with nearly 100,000 customers globally and, uh, uh, and 1,700 higher education institutions um, globally as well. And um, these are just some of the, the amazing institutions that we get to work with uh, every single day, so many um, on this call as well. And again, this has been 10 years of, of since we really decided to, to double down in the space of continuing to build deeper partnerships, build better product support, um, build uh, yeah, better functionality for the, the higher education community. Um, and in many respects, we, we feel we're, we're just at the start of this journey. So we're incredibly excited about what we've been able to build thus far, um, but we are really only uh, at the beginning stages. And, um, and, and one of the things that has been most important about our efforts in the higher education space is the, um, uh, is the special support and pricing that we've long offered higher education uh, institutions. And um, you can imagine given the scale of universities, the number of students in universities, the richness of use cases, um, we had to make sure that we had a pricing model uh, that would make it really, really easy for universities to scale up their usage of Box. And so we have custom pricing just for higher education that is different than our commercial um, private sector pricing. So it provides very, very steep um, uh, discounts and affordability for higher education institutions. And that was really due to our commitment to this market. And that's been something that we've had for many, many years. Um, as a component of that, uh, one thing, though, that we had to do was, was make sure that we could uh, reflect some of the extreme use cases that we're seeing from some universities in terms of the amount of storage that they're using. We had to come up with some custom pricing um, for those use cases. And last year, we, we started updating some of the plans and some of the pricing around that to be able to support the broad set of use cases that we were seeing so we could make sure that we could um, financially sustainably support this ecosystem in a, in a successful way. And, and we, uh, we rolled out some of those changes at the, the tail end of last year. Um, to make sure that we could continue to scale for universities of all sizes. And over the past few months, um, uh, we've, we've reflected on some of those changes and we've reflected on some of those updates. And, um, and we've also been uh, working in the background uh, to, to, uh, to uh, put a, a significant amount of emphasis on our underlying infrastructure costs um, and work uh, to really bring down the costs uh, of our infrastructure. And combined with the feedback from the community that we had as we rolled out last year's uh, updated plans, as well as the significant infrastructure improvements um, that we were able to, uh, to deliver, um, with that feedback and those infrastructure improvements um, really kind of came at the same time. 
Uh, and today we have really, really exciting updates um, to those plans and to those packages um, that I'll be sharing in, in, in just a couple of minutes. Um, and so we're, we're really excited to share uh, some updated um, uh, information on how we're going to be able to support our large scale institutions that have large scale storage needs to be able to better support and scale with those universities. Um, and uh, and it's, it's a really important move that, um, uh, that, that we were able to make. But, but first of all, let me, let me just say, as I was um, listening to the feedback from many uh, of our customers and hearing a lot of the use cases across research and faculty and staff and students and all of the collaboration and all the richness of the use cases, um, we, we heard really, really, uh, I think, powerful feedback on what Box could be doing to better support the community. Um, and in particular, ensure that we could scale uh, to support the needs that, that, uh, that this community has. Um, so, you know, for, for those of you who, um, again, last year, uh, you know, we, we've been working with on these updated plans. Um, we are very, very excited to be able to share um, uh, further updates that I think better support the scale um, of, uh, of your institution. So there's, there's two big updates today that we're going to be talking about. The first is our updated Box for EDU plans that include much more scalable storage options. Um, where applicable. So if you have these large scale storage needs, our ability to scale with your environment uh, in a very, very cost effective way. Um, uh, because again, we know that budgets are tight. We know that, um, that, that the demand for, for data storage and, and collaboration is only growing. And we wanted to make sure that we could reflect that in our, uh, in our plan. Um, and then we have all new features that we're really, really excited about as well that we think will go a long way towards supporting better collaboration better workflows, better security, um, and content management within the higher education space. So firstly, starting with the updated um, plans for, uh, for our higher education customers, um, you know, we, we uh, as I mentioned, have been hard at work on the back end uh, of our uh, infrastructure and um, uh, in terms of uh, really uh, trying to drive down the cost of, of the underlying storage and then be able to pass along those savings to our customers in a much more significant way. So some of the um, plan updates that we had at the tail end of last year and rolling into this year, we will be revising those plan updates. And so if you're um, a, a higher education customer that, um, uh, that we had been working with previously um, on, on this updated pricing and, and plan information, we do have updates. Um, and we're gonna ask that uh, you reach out to your account uh, manager or representative to get that latest information. Um, uh, there is, um, again, in, in, those, um, in these extreme cases where, where an institution has a large amount of storage um, and uh, a large amount of, of usage on the data side, we do have updated plans uh, to be able to support those use cases that we think will uh, fit within the, the, um, uh, the, the, the budget environment that many of our higher education institutions are dealing with. Um, and uh, for, um, uh, to go even further, uh, for uh, organizations or, or institutions that need to exceed the included storage levels in these plans, which again are, uh, are gonna be dramatically improved and, and dramatically increased, um, we have a much lower cost of storage uh, for higher allotment levels. And so the two big updates are way greater included storage levels for these higher um, usage customers and in the uh, higher education space, as well as easier ways to scale with more storage at a much lower cost uh, basis. So again, uh, when you reach out to uh, your higher education account manager, and um, we'll give some more information at the end of this on how to do that. Um, we're, uh, we'd be glad to, to share those numbers and make sure that everybody's getting uh, this information as quickly as possible because we know that many universities right now are making long-term strategic IT decisions um, and we are very committed to being a, a, a significant partner for you in that effort. Now, switching over to the all new box features, um, we've been thinking a lot about what the future of collaboration and education looks like, what the future of of enabling students and research and faculty to be able to share and be able to work with data um, from anywhere, and um, and we uh, and we've been hard at work in, uh, in in driving these feature improvements over the past couple of quarters, and we have a really exciting roadmap um, that uh, is coming up as well. When when we when we look at at what we are focused on, what we know is that digital transformation is accelerating faster than ever before in higher education. And I don't need to you know be the one to to tell anybody this. Um, for everybody on this call, you're seeing this day in and day out. I think the response to COVID, again, we saw amazing execution from many higher education um, institutions and in being able to enable their students and faculty and researchers to be able to work from anywhere or do distance learning. 
And we know that this is going to be a new normal um, as a part of, of higher education going forward. And uh, we have no, you know, you have way better perspective on how campuses um, do phase re-entry and, and how that will work. But what we do know is that, that uh, having a digital first way of collaborating, of delivering educational content, of doing research is going to be with us um, going forward. And IT is going to sit at the center of that transformation, um, which is what we're incredibly excited about being able to partner with all of our customers on. When we think of this sort of before and after view of what education looks like, and you know, if you go back six months or 12 months or, 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 or earlier, that's sort of the before view. And after is really when you look at 2020 and beyond, I think we move to a world that is much more about agility. Um, it's allowing staff and faculty to be able to work from anywhere, um, to be able to access their data on any device um, on or off campus. Um, it's about campuses working together to be able to collaborate seamlessly. We already know there's so much collaboration between research institutions across the university ecosystem, which is incredibly exciting, and that's only going to increase further. We actually saw post-COVID the, the second highest amount of collaboration growth in the higher education space. So the first, we saw public sector collaborate vastly more than before. And secondly, we saw higher education institutions begin to collaborate in all new ways. Um, and so we, I, we think we're moving to a collaboration first environment in higher education, which is very, very exciting to see. And we're, uh, we think that will create profound outcomes um, in both education as well as research um, and beyond. We also know that, that campuses need to be able to support the ability for students to be able to learn on any device from anywhere. And so digital learning from anywhere is going to continue to be an important priority. Uh, we know that there's a lot of important content, whether it's uh, video materials or documentation or PowerPoint presentations that need to be able to share with students. Um, we know that this is gonna be a really important way that learning happens going forward. And it's not gonna replace the on-campus or, or um, in-classroom experience. It's going to augment um, and, uh, and create that, um, that complementary experience for, uh, for students. We also know that technology is, is rapidly evolving, and uh, so many of our customers are using Office 365 or Google Suite or um, ServiceNow or other leading technologies, and we think the future is going to be about having integrated best-of-breed applications that work with one another. So at Box, we're gonna be very, very focused on building a singular platform that manages content that connects to all of your applications. Um, so you can leverage best of breed tools uh, to be able to deliver your IT strategy to your university uh, or higher education institution. And then finally, data security is changing pretty fundamentally. It used to be that you could protect your data by locking down your data center or locking down the campus. That's not possible anymore. When people move to distance learning or they work from anywhere, we have to make sure that we're securing data wherever people are, are collaborating from. And so we have to be able to protect the flow of information. So we think that this is a, a, a very exciting, even though very dynamic time um, in the higher education space. I think it's going to cause a tremendous amount of transformation from a digital and cloud standpoint. That is not to take light of, of the amount of challenge uh, that, um, that organizations are going to face. We know that this is a very complicated environment with both the health and economic uh, dimensions that, um, that, that organizations and campuses are facing. Um, and at Box, we're very, very focused on making sure that we can support our customers through this environment. And so we have uh, stepped back and, and made sure that our product roadmap can be very, very tuned to what we're seeing in the university um, ecosystem. And some of this is based on feature requests we've seen from our customers. Um, some of this is feature requests that we've seen in the private sector that we can bring to the higher education community. Uh, but we have a lot of innovation that we're excited about delivering and rolling out right now um, and over the coming quarters that we think our, our higher education uh, community will be pretty excited about. So there's three big areas that we focus on at Box. The first is being the world's best content management platform from a security and compliance standpoint. So we want to have the best uh, security and compliance baked directly into the Box platform. The second is that we want to be able to deliver seamless internal and external collaboration and workflow. Um, this means external to the university. So how do you share with other researchers, other institutions? How do you collaborate in a very seamless way? And how do you automate workflows around that? And then finally, we want our platform to be integrated with all of your applications. So that way you can embed Box into any app from, uh, uh, that, that, that employees or students or faculty or researchers are working on. 
um, and, uh, and you can store your content once and extend it anywhere. So I'm just gonna very briefly deep dive into these three areas of our product roadmap, and in particular, what, what you're gonna start to see from Box in just the coming weeks, months, and quarters that we think will be very relevant to the higher education community. The first is on the security front. We're focused on precision-based security controls, threat detection, and smart compliance, given all of the needs uh, that, our, uh, that, 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 that our customers in the higher education community um, uh, requires. Um, we have a lot of innovation that's going to be baked into the core box. We're improving things like two-factor authentication, single sign-on, activity reporting, the ability to scale to all of the different types of, of security and logging use cases that our customers have. But we also have some advanced technology like Box Shield that does uh, auto, uh, uh, automatic cl data classification and threat detection built directly into Box. So this is a really important initiative for us which is all about enabling more frictionless security and compliance built directly into the platform. So uh, for instance, if you have a research organization that is doing a, a highly sensitive collaboration with mission critical data, um, that ability to protect that information, to make sure it gets classified appropriately and make sure that it can't be accessed in the wrong ways by the wrong institutions or organizations, um, that is now a feature that is baked directly um, into our native user experience with the Box Shield product and this is only continuing to get more advanced over time so we have automatic classification uh, that will be happening so for instance if content is uploaded directly into box that might have uh, personally identifiable information and you need to be able to do a security alert on that um, uh, for instance if there's uh, student information that, that might be shared by faculty how do you automatically detect that those are some of the features that are going to be built into our our shield product roadmap but we also have significant advancements in our box governance suite um, as well as a lot of our native core included security um, that's built directly into Box as well. Next up, when we think about seamless internal and external collaboration, there are three areas that we are focused on. The first is to instantly find and organize content on any device and any application. The second is to be able to collaborate in real time. And third, to be able to automatically and intelligently automatic, uh, 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 re uh, automate repetitive workflows. So the, the first thing that we're really, really excited to share is an all new Box user interface. Now, the current uh, UI design of Box is coming on about five plus years since when we designed it last. So we wanted to step back and say, what is a modern user experience that can be faster, simpler, and easier to use than any other way to share files in the cloud? And we are incredibly excited about the new modern uh, all new box UI. And so if you haven't gotten a chance to play with it, you can go into the admin console and turn on this beta uh, within your environment. Um, box will now work faster than ever before for navigating content and loading the application. Um, and you're going to find that the user experience is much more intuitive um, and, uh, and much easier to navigate. And this is going to be our new foundation um, of the future of box where you're going to see constant uh, feature development happen on top of this new, new UI that only continues to improve the Box user experience. We will also have now rolled out a new feature called Box Collections that is available in the new um, modern Box user experience. We've heard from customers in a range of industries um, and especially within the higher education community that as you have more and more content in your organization that is being shared with you, you want a way to personally organize that content so you can get access to just the right things for you. And so, for instance, in my own Box account, I have access to millions and millions of files that are shared with me across the enterprise. And I wanna be able to organize that content in ways that are very specific to me. Uh, and that is what the collections feature is about. So I can now set up project collections. I can set up collections for business topics. I can set up um, collections to be able to organize uh, content via any topic that is personal to me. So I can jump off into that content anywhere where it's stored or has been shared in the box. And that now is available directly on the sidebar of box. So people can get access to that um, uh, content really, really seamlessly. Um, and it's now going to be available on our mobile app as well. So you can get access to those same collections on your mobile device. One feature that we're incredibly excited about is our annotations feature. So we are rolling out right now in, in beta first, and then it'll be generally available later this summer. Uh, the ability to annotate on nearly every single file type in Box, starting with documents and image uh, files. So this ability to, to go into Box and work on a PDF or a Word document or an image asset, add a 
comment directly in line to that digital asset, no matter what the file type is, and then have other users be able to see those comments. Um, we think this is going to be incredibly important to shape how collaboration works within the higher education environment. So being able to work on schoolwork and class assignments um, or research and be able to annotate on content fully natively built into Box, completely free, um, uh, available with, uh, to every single user um, in the higher education community. We also have a new feature called file requests, which allows our customers to be able to set up a drop folder, a, a drop zone within a folder, so content can be uploaded directly to any folder in their Box account. And when you turn on metadata templates, you can also require metadata submissions um, within, that, um, uh, within that submission as well. So um, if you want to attach metadata to documents, this could be you have uh, form request data that you need to be able to get from students or from partners or other research institutions. Now without, without logging in, people are able to upload content to any folder uh, that, uh, that you want to share with them. And so every single folder can have a file request link created. Um, and every single folder can have custom metadata uh, that's required when you want to be able to submit this content. We also um, uh, have an all new set of updates around our workflow engine, Box Relay. This is one of the biggest advancements we've made from a product standpoint to be able to allow uh, any type of automatic workflow uh, that deals with content directly built into Box. So uh, whether it's a, a new student onboarding process or a new vendor review process or a digital asset review process, any workflow you want to be able to automate, um, you're able to do so. We have a free version of Relay that's included in all the base packages, um, as well as a more advanced version of, that's available as well. But we're very, very excited about um, what is possible with Box Relay and being able to deliver more workflow automation. And then finally, based on a lot of the requests we've, we've had from customers, we're investing further in our web accessibility mode. We know how, access, how important accessibility is to the higher education um, uh, community, and we are going to make continued investments to ensure that the critical functionality of Box um, is uh, supporting accessibility use cases. Um, again, we know that this is an incredibly important um, uh, topic, and, and we will continue to make investments in this area um, to ensure that we can support our customers' use cases here. Now, finally, we want to ensure that all of the content that is stored in Box is easily accessible by the applications that you're using and the, the applications that, um, that are in your environment. And this is where our open platform is incredibly important. A lot of times customers come to us and they say, well, why is Box different from Office 365 or Google Suite? And the critical reason is that we are gonna be integrated into any application you use, not just the Microsoft stack, not just the Google stack, not just the Oracle stack, but fundamentally every app within your enterprise environment. And so we want to deliver a unified experience no matter what tool um, is being deployed within your, um, your ecosystem. So when you think about the core of Box, uh, the baseline of Box is content management services, collaboration features, data security, all built into one platform. And then we integrate with every other leading application that our customers are using. And so this gives you the ability of a future-proof environment where maybe today you're using Microsoft for one set of use cases, but tomorrow you're going to use Google and then later you're going to use Slack or Zoom or other tools. We want to ensure that you can store content once within Box and then extend and access that information and content from any application across your enterprise. Um, and this is really the power of having a neutral, open content platform that, um, that works with, with your entire IT stack. And this is what we're really focused on um, as a neutral open vendor. So just to deep dive, there's been two big categories of updates we've been making with the productivity suites. The first is with Box for Office 365. We natively integrate into Office Online. So directly from your browser, you can start, uh, you can launch a new document or you can start editing a document online that allows for real-time collaboration. So we act as a storage and content management platform for every single um, Office uh, file type uh, and Office Online experience. But we also integrate deeply and natively into Microsoft Teams. Um, we also have uh, integrations with Azure Active Directory. So across your Office 365 or Microsoft 365 investment, we will be integrated with all of the key applications um, within that environment. The second uh, major focus area is Box for G Suite. And very similarly to Office 365, we want to be able to let you take documents in Box and edit them seamlessly within the cloud, within Google Docs or Google Sheets or Google Slides. And we want to have seamless round trip experiences so you can store data in Box 
but then edit it seamlessly in your browser directly from the Google suite of products. Um, and again, we're integrating more deeply into the broad set of Google products like Gmail um, and other tools that, um, that are emerging. So whether you're a Google shop, a Microsoft shop, or a hybrid shop, we want to be the best way to manage content securely so users, whether they're staff or research or faculty, don't have to worry about which tool they're in, which application they're using. They can store content securely and be able to access that information from anywhere. We also have an all-new integration with Zoom. We know that Zoom is um, uh, growing very rapidly within the, the higher education and broader communi uh, education community. And we want to make sure that we have native integration points that allow users to be able to take content in box and launch directly into a Zoom meeting. And even uh, in the future, be able to, from directly within Zoom, share content from Box within that environment as well. So we're really excited about what the potential is for deeper Zoom integration. And we know that this is also an application that's on the rise um, in the community. So that is just a preview of mu much of the innovation that we're working on. At Box, we've been hard at work to rapidly innovate on our, on our product roadmap and strategy. We are just at the beginning of a new wave of innovation that is going to be launched because of the all new box and all the new features that we're gonna be able to support. I'm confident that you will see box get faster, be more collaborative, be simpler to use, be more secure and more integrated with your applications than ever before. And certainly versus any other tool um, that is available on the market. And uh, we are really, really purpose built to help our customers enable secure content management and collaboration in this environment and in higher education in particular. And again, we, uh, we take our, our uh, commitment and investment to higher education very, very seriously. I want to um, ensure that everyone on this call and, and beyond uh, understands that we remain 100% committed to the success of the higher education community. Uh, we are excited to work together to drive greater digital transformation and support for this community going forward. Um, we have heard, again, a tremendous amount of feedback. I've been on a listening tour to our customer, with our customers over the past couple of months and quarters. Um, I know that, um, that our initial uh, plans that we rolled out didn't meet the mark um, initially, and we went back and retooled to make sure that we could better support uh, our, our higher education uh, customers, especially those with large-scale storage needs. Um, I'm certainly you know, sorry for any of the disruption that those updated plans may have caused and in terms of your planning and, uh, and, 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 um, and IT architecture decisions, but we are very excited to double down in this space right now and make sure that all of our customers are getting the support um, and level investment from Box that they need to be successful um, within their institution. So with that, I'm gonna pause and we're gonna open it up for some of the questions that we've gotten over the past few days and the past week leading up to this event. Um, Steph will, uh, will do her best to, to moderate those <laughs> and, um, uh, and, and the only other thing I would just call out is, um, uh, in particular, if you're a higher education institution that had um, some of these uh, uh, higher end storage needs where we were working with you um, on those updated storage plans, please reach out to either your account team, if you know that account team directly, or reach out to hire-ed at box.com, and, um, and we, uh, we will update you uh, with the latest information uh, we'd like to do that as soon as possible. We have a uh, we have a Tiger team on this right now, so we can get updated plan information back to you um, really within uh, 24 or 48 hours of uh, of that request. So again, we know that many higher education institutions are making long term strategic IT decisions right now, and we're very excited to be a continued part of your your uh, portfolio and, and IT transformation strategy going forward. And you will see that commitment from us um, uh, as uh, as I think we've. Um, we, we've focused on over the past many years. So with that, I'll let uh, Steph uh, take it from here. Fantastic. Thanks, Aaron. Um, and just uh, for everyone, um, we received a number of questions in advance. Uh, so thank you so much for those folks who, um, who submitted via Slido. Um, although, Aaron, you've covered a lot, a lot this morning, I do want to still ask some of the questions just to ensure that um, uh, we reiterate uh, with clarity uh, around some of the key points. Uh, what I'll do is the questions really fell into a series of buckets or themes and I want to hit on every one in the next sort of 15 to 20 minutes that we have left um, as we had a number of questions sort of similarly worded around some of the, uh, the categories. So let me start with the first one. 
Um, uh, we received a couple of questions regarding sort of our value proposition and differentiation, specifically um, compared to uh, Microsoft and Google, who are both also uh, key players on campus today. And so we had uh, three customers ask us to spend a little bit of time just differentiating ourselves uh, versus some of our competitors and partners. Yeah, so, so this, is, um, this is a super important topic that, that we'll be focused on in, in perpetuity, which is um, our, our focus is really being on a neutral open platform for managing and securing content in the cloud. And, and uh, we know that, that uh, our customers are using a range of applications to get their work done. Sometimes that's Office Online, sometimes that's Google Docs, sometimes that's Slack, sometimes that's Teams, sometimes that's Zoom, sometimes that's WebEx, sometimes it's ServiceNow, sometimes it's Salesforce. So we wanna make sure that your content isn't trapped into one single platform or one single tool but instead that you have the ability to have flexibility of where people work from, which applications, and you have a future-proof strategy down the road as a new tool emerges to be able to integrate with that technology as well. So our focus is on making sure that we are both very complementary and integrated with Microsoft and Office 365 and G Suite, but also integrated with the rest of your IT stack and the rest of your IT environment with the right level of open APIs, with the depth of security and compliance that we think is very unique to Box, and with um, hopefully a simpler user experience and easier way to get work done with content. The benefit of working with Box um, is because we are only focused on being the world's best content management and collaboration tool, it means that we get to dedicate all of our time and energy into building great user experiences um, and, uh, and, and, uh, and great support for collaborating around content. So we, we don't take it lightly that customers have a lot of choice um, in every market in IT, and we have to make sure that we are out innovating and out um, delivering on, uh, on you know, better functionality and better service and support for our customers, but also make sure that that is integrated with the broader IT stack that our customers have. Fantastic, thank you. The next category, and I know you've, you've covered this already in the session, however, I do want to acknowledge we received um, three or four questions specifically regarding uh, storage costs, storage caps, um, and uh, some of the implications of that. Again, uh, just to re remind people um, how they can go about learning more about the changes um, and, and the changes that we've made thus far. Yeah, so, so uh, this, is, this is what I've spent a lot of my, my time on, on kind of the listening tour, you know, interacting with, with you know, great uh, CIOs and leaders in the higher education community that gave us feedback that, that for, again, some of these extreme high-end use cases of storage usage, um, our plans weren't. Uh, able to accommodate some of the, the, the needs that, um, that existed in the market. And so we, we stepped back with the team and we, we pushed the team really, really hard internally to say, what can we do to lower our underlying unit costs uh, in our cost to serve and in our infrastructure so that way we could better reflect those costs in the pricing and the plans that we were delivering to the higher education space. Um, and so that is what we've been doing over the past one to two quarters. And it's really come to a head in the past couple of weeks, which is why we wanted today uh, make the announcement that we do have updated plans uh, for our customers and we want to rapidly put those plans in front of the institutions where it's applicable um, and uh, many institutions are, are unaffected by this because uh, their, uh, their, their storage levels are, are, um, uh, are, are already taken care of by the plan that they're on but there are some institutions where, um, where the, the usage levels were, were really high and we want to make, we want to make sure that we can rapidly work to accommodate those needs um, within a very, very cost-effective um, uh, 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 structure uh, for our customers. So please reach out to us immediately, um, and we're very excited to, uh, to be able to work with you on that updated information. Fantastic. The next category was around affordability, um, especially with increasing cost pressures and quite candidly exacerbated by COVID-19. Um, is Box still a viable campus-wide solution? Yeah, we, we, we also don't take lightly that budgets are very tight and every single IT decision, um, it has to be one that is really uh, being done through a filter of what are the highest priority investment areas. And, um, and again, we, we have to earn uh, our customers' uh, support and investment dollars. Um, and again, with our updated uh, plans, especially for those, those again, um, uh, high uh, storage utilization institutions, we think that we uh, are a much more 
um, cost-effective solution uh, for the, the community, but also we need to make sure that we are delivering more value than ever before. And that means can we help actually retire costs within your environment? Can, can Box be leveraged to reduce uh, the, the spend on legacy infrastructure and storage tools or document management systems? So, you know, we'd love to work with our, 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 our customers in the broader community on finding ways where Box can continue to deliver more ROI uh, for our, our institutions. And that can be, again, retiring legacy systems. That can be improving the productivity and outcomes across, um, across the higher education institution um, uh, but, uh, or, or delivering better security within this environment. But no matter what, we, we are very um, clear on one thing, which is digital transformation is going to remain one of the biggest investment areas and priorities for any higher education uh, institution. And we are 100% committed on making sure that we can enable all organizations of all sizes um, uh, to be able to, to transform faster um, uh, from a digital standpoint. And so, um, so we remain very committed and we're gonna lean in uh, to our partners and to, uh, to, to supporting our partners in this space and, and the broader community. Um, so again, we know the budgets are tight, but, but you're gonna see that, that we will work very, very uh, hard for, for that, that investment and make sure that you're able to save money and deliver more ROI and productivity um, you know, within, within your institution and, and within the community broadly. Uh, excellent. The next two uh, sort of two related categories. So I'm going to ask you sort of uh, a two prong question. The two categories are around uh, how we think about higher education in, from a uh, just a profitability perspective and just how we think about education in general as a market segment. Um, you mentioned earlier, we have over 1700 individual institutions, colleges and universities across the globe. Um, so if you could give some feedback and commentary around how we think about this industry, yeah both from a, a business model perspective as well as just our investment in the marketplace? Yeah, great, great, great question. And, and we, we saw a range of those questions coming in, which are, which are great to see. So, so um, as I mentioned, we have 1,700 institutions. We have millions and millions of students globally uh, that leverage Box for secure file sharing and collaboration. Um, and this is a space that is, is, is personally near and dear uh, to, to, to my heart um, uh, because of, of how we founded the company um, and, and the environment in which we founded the company, but it's also strategically uh, critical. So it wouldn't be enough if it was just a personal, you know, passion area for me or Steph, um, who, uh, who is equally passionate about this. She ran, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, you, you ran the, 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 um, the higher education business um, and the education business for Apple previously. So this is both near and dear to both of us um, on a personal and professional level, but it's also strategic to box. Um, you know, we think that, um, that it's incredibly important to help universities uh, be able to deliver on, on just unbelievably important missions of educating the next generation of, of, uh, of, of leaders and people that are going to go out into the world and make amazing change happen. Um, it's, uh, it helps uh, universities be able to deliver uh, amazing research um, that is uh, obviously pushing the world forward, especially in times like this in areas like health and science, um, which are obviously very critical. And, um, and we want to make sure that we can actually uh, do our part to hopefully make uh, education more efficient and um, be able to deliver better infrastructure uh, for the world, the world where, where the world is going. So that's the strategic priority uh, and emphasis uh, for us and why this um, community is so important and why it's, it's such a, a focus area. Um, we, uh, we have made the decision long ago uh, to implement specialized pricing and specialized plans uh, for this ecosystem so we could support the large scale um, use cases that we see. So anytime that a customer in this space, um, uh, in the higher education uh, uh, community, um, uh, works with Box or gets pricing or, or one of our plans from Box, um, uh, that is at a very steep um, discount to our commercial tiers um, because of the need for being able to support the students within the university and the large scale storage needs um, that exist. So we have very specialized, we have a very specialized approach uh, to this category and we're continuing uh, to, to, to invest in that with these updated uh, storage plans as well. So very uh, important to me personally, uh, to you, Steph, uh, very strategic to box, but also one where we are not, um, you know, we, we don't think about it as getting the same level of budget no. uh, from customers as, 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 um, as might exist in the, in the more typical private sector institution, um, just because we know that, that um, you know, uh, universities run lean, um, we know that there's a lot of com you know, competing priorities um, and we want to make sure that we can do our part to support the IT investments of, 
of the higher education space. Fantastic. Um, two final questions, and thank you, everyone out there, for staying with us, uh, which is great. The next one uh, I'll ask, but quite frankly, since you've tasked me with this, I'll probably end up answering. We received a, a number of questions around transparency around pricing, and will Box provide greater transparency and visibility of its pricing model? And one of the things Aaron has asked us to go and do um, is to make sure that we are in a position to actually publish our base pricing model and caps. So I have a team working on that right now, and our commitment is that uh, we will actually provide um, that visibility uh, in the next two weeks uh, for our education customers. So I just wanted to make sure that the, for the folks who uh, asked those questions, we have heard you um, and uh, um, we're working on that right now. Um, so uh, the final question was in relation to product development. And as you mentioned earlier and covered a number of features and enhancements that many of our customers and advisory board members have been asking us about, especially in the area of accessibility, for example. Um, I know there's more work to be done, so um, some feedback and commentary on how we think about uh, some of the work we have to keep doing in terms of the product. Yeah, yeah, we, we are, um, uh, we, we are um, always seeking out uh, uh, product feedback, whether it's on accessibility or feature improvements or better integrations or reporting capabilities or APIs. So please continue to send us um, that, that feedback. Uh, work with your account team. Uh, we also have an online community um, where, where you can send that feedback. You can um, always email me at aaronatbox.com and, uh, and I'll make sure that that, that feedback gets routed um, uh, to the right folks on our end. Uh, but product feedback is, is uh, incredibly important to how we drive our, our product strategy and roadmap. We also work with, um, with our, our advisors in the higher education community to help uh, give us feedback on, uh, on where we should be going from a feature development standpoint. But, um, you know, one thing is, is certain is you're going to see continued investment, um, even more investment in areas like collaboration and workflow and the end user experience and data security um, to be able to support the, the really important mission critical use cases of the, the higher education community. So expect a lot more innovation from us um, in the coming months, quarters and years uh, on this front. Fantastic. That was our last question. Okay. So you can do a wrap. Okay, well, let me just say thank you again to everybody taking the time to, to meet with us today. Again, we know that, that schedules are very tight. There's a lot of um, conflicting priorities and, um, and areas where you could be spending your time. Um, on behalf of all of Box, our management team and the higher education um, team within Box, where we do have a dedicated team, um, I just want to say thank you um, both to your uh, just uh, amazing work in um, and keeping universities and the higher education um, uh, community operational, supporting staff, supporting students, supporting researchers, supporting faculty. Uh, we don't take lightly how challenging these times have been, especially uh, in IT organizations. And so we want to say thank you for that work. Um, and also, I just want to reinforce and, and double down on our commitment to higher education and the community broadly. You will see more from us on this front. Um, please reach out to your account team. Uh, if uh, you have, again, some of these high-end storage use cases, we'll work with you rapidly uh, to ensure that you're supported in the right way. Um, and then broadly, again, please stay tuned for more innovation um, you know, coming out of, out of box. We want to continue to hear your requests and, um, and, uh, and the things that, um, uh, that, that, that you're seeing you know, within your campus. Um, and at any time, again, if you have feedback for me personally, just email Aaron at box.com. Uh, we'll always take that feedback and make sure it gets heard. Um, and, uh, and I really appreciate everybody taking the time today. And with that, uh, just say uh, thank you very much.